If you're like me and love playing PS3 games and just got a new Steam Deck or have a new PC and want to try out emulation for the PS3, I'll show you how to get it set up. Steam Deck actually runs some games pretty decent. Anyway, go to Google and type in RPCS3 and then when you see the first link, hit it and then hit download while on the actual website. Scroll down and click download under the Windows tab. Let it download and once done, right click the RAR file, click extract RPCS3. Then right click the folder that was created, cut, then go to the local disk C and make a folder on the root of it called games. Enter the folder. Right click, paste. Now enter the folder and scroll down and double click the file called RPCS3. Now click I have read the quick start guide and then continue. Go up to file in the upper left and click install firmware. Go back to Google and type in PS3 firmware and click the first link. Scroll down and click download and let the file download. Allow the download if you must in the web browser. Once the file is downloaded, back in our PCS3, go to downloads and click ps 3 updatepup and then open and let the emulator install the firmware, clicking OK when needed. Now to add the game directory. Click file in the upper left, add games. A window will pop up. Locate the folder that has your PlayStation 3 games inside it, but highlight the folder and click select folder. Give it a moment for the games to load as it may take some time depending on how many games are in that folder. Make sure to right click any game and click download compatibility database and then again button manage game patches. It'll update those two features for all games. Oh, you have a package file? Click file, install packages, locate the package file of the game and click open and let it install. The game needs a wrap file, same process. However, not all digital titles require a wrap file though. As you can see, the website where we got the emulator has a compatibility list. Some games may work or not depending on this list and your hardware. It includes fixes that may help you if you're having issues. Do check it out. Link's in the description. Leave a like and a sub too if you are really feeling it. There are some great games stuck on the PS3 not ported like MotorStorm are available this way and run pretty decent along with multi-platform games. But I know why you are here. You want to know if this works on the Steam Deck, don't you? Grab your Steam Deck and switch it to desktop mode. On the desktop, hit the discover icon on the taskbar and when it loads, type in the search box RPCS3 and hit install when it shows up. It's that easy. Open the program from the desktop clicking file and install firmware may not work. However, same process as before. Open the web browser, look up PS3 firmware and download like before allowing if needed. Open the folder location of where it downloaded though, and then drag and drop the PS3 update pup file from the download folder onto the emulator where the games list loads. It'll begin to install the firmware after you click yes. Now onto the games library. Same thing, clicking file and add games doesn't work, so locate the game installation and drag and drop it onto the emulator and wait. The game list will load. Hit refresh. And again, right click a game, manage game patches, and download the compatibility database. Now to add the shortcut to Steam. Open Steam and click add a game, add a non-Steam game. Click browse. Then the drop down menu and make sure it says home slash deck. Click the desktop folder and open it. Make sure file type says all files and look for net.rpcs3 and highlight it. Click open, then add selected programs. Almost done. With Steam open, open RPCS3's gamepad button and select EV Dev, then Xbox 360 under Devices, and then Save. You can then reboot back to the Steam Deck UI and all shall work. And onto the PlayStation 3 ISOs as mentioned previously. If you have an ISO, fret not, it's easy to convert it to run in the emulator. Right click the ISO, go to Open with Windows Explorer. Let it load and highlight everything, right click, copy. Go back a page, right click, new, new folder. Open the newly made folder and right click paste. Your game is now in the right format. Hope this helped. If so, check out another tutorial and leave a like, cause next is RetroArch. Hope you all had a great day. This is Bio and I am signing off.